Back in 2016, I got a call from Guy that uh, he and his kids were coming over to uh, Santa Cruz to learn to surf. And uh, so I took them out here at Cowles. High tide. Um, <laughs> and hear more about this. And uh, it was a two to three foot day, nice summer day. And uh, ever since that day, whenever Guy introduces me, he jokes and he says, this is the guy who took him out and tried to kill him at Cowles at high, at high tide. Well, until today, um, I didn't have a platform nor the heart to tell him that guy, nobody has ever died at Cowles. <laughs> nobody. Not at high tide, not at the sharks, nothing. Nobody's ever died there, okay? And, uh, but um, after he got over his Cowles uh, uh, PSTD, uh, PTSD, he, uh, uh, he was smitten by surfing. He was totally smitten. I, I haven't even seen a teenager in love this smitten. And, um, and he, uh, within a month, I think, he bought a house for his family in, in Pleasure Point. And on pretty much every weekend and days during the week, um, you can find them out there and you can see a uh, um, guy in the lineup at 38th Avenue. And I have to say, it's, it's a pure stoke for me to see um, his uh, uh, sort of iconic um, Duchenne smile out in the lineup. Um, and you may have to read one of his 14 books to know what Duchenne means, or maybe he'll tell you. Uh, but it's pure stoke. And, um, so it's with great pleasure and, um, and humor. I would like to introduce uh, a true uh, titan of tech and a Santa Cruzian, wise guy, Kawasaki. Well, since Doug told you that I'm often at 38, um, I want to apologize to anybody I have dropped in on. <laughs> and also for the future, because I will continue to drop in on you. And I will also tell you that I have a very bad right ear, so if you yell at me on this side, I'm not ignoring you. I literally cannot hear you when you yell at me if I drop in on you. So, uh, just so you know that. Uh, a little bit about my background. Well, I'm going to give you a very little bit about my background. I worked for Apple. I was Apple's software evangelist. I was Apple's chief evangelist. Uh, currently, I'm the chief evangelist of a company called Canva out of Sydney, Australia. Uh, Canva's yeah. in the online graphics design business. Uh, I like to tell people that in the time that it would take you to boot Photoshop, Canva can finish a graphic. Um, that's our positioning. Uh, I'm also Mercedes-Benz brand ambassador. Uh, along with uh, <laughs> Roger Federer and uh, Garrett McNamara. So the difference between his wave and my wave is roughly 68 feet. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm one of the few people in the world who get paid to drive a Mercedes Benz. It is a thankless job, but somebody has to do it. Um, and I want to tell you a story. So I'm from Honolulu, Hawaii. I grew up in a, a low-income part of Honolulu. And I was in a public school called Kalihi Elementary. And in the sixth grade, uh, a teacher named Trudy Akal took my parents on the side and he said, you know, your son has so much potential, you cannot let him go through just a regular Hawaii public school system. You have to take him out of this system and put him in like a private school. You have to get him the finest education because he has a lot of potential. So that meant that I applied to two schools, Punahou and Iolani, if you're familiar with Hawaii. Punahou is the school um, that Barack Obama went to, and Iolani is a school that Barack Obama couldn't get into. <laughs> I went to Iolani. So, uh, so I tell you this story because fundamentally, Trudy Akal, sixth grade teacher at Khalil Elementary, changed my life. Uh, if she had not told my parents that and forced my parents to do that, uh, I would not be here. I would not have worked for Apple. I would not have gone to Stanford. None of this would have occurred. So he, she changed the arc of my life. And what I want to do, which maybe has not been done in the history of the Tech Titans program here, is um, there's someone in the audience here who, in a sense, a truly account to many, many people uh, who is changing the arc of their lives. So I'm at the end of my career. I've I've gone through the door. I've had a very fortunate career. And I believe one of the moral obligations of people who have gone through the door and been successful is you keep the door open and you help other people get through. 
So what I want to do with my remaining three minutes, or whatever is left, is uh, you've heard his name twice and you also saw him introduce someone, but I am just so enamored with what Jacob is doing at Digital Nest that I want to hand the mic over to Jacob and he can have the rest of my time to tell you about the great things Digital Nest is doing to create more of a meritocracy for the career. Um, um, thank you. Um, uh, it means a lot to me. Um, and I think the best way, like all these people up here, build companies. And what I and my team try to do is build talent. And I'm hoping they're still here. Francisco and Luis, stand up. Stand up. We build talent. Um, actually, we expose the talent to the rest of you. The talent's always been there. Um, and uh, we're, they're diverse, they're passionate, they're creative, they're inspiring, they're hardworking, they have grit, they'll outcompete any other kids from any affluent community any day. And I'll put them up against any of, any of these kids from those, of any of these other schools. Um, those two young men are at CSUMB, studying uh, computer science. From Watsonville, they're in a competitive program. They got into this program called CSN3, which is a program between Hartnell and CSU and CSUMB. They get their computer science degree in three years. Um, this is the talent that you want. Um, there's a lot of you out here that are entrepreneurs, have companies, have big companies. They're looking for internships. They need a break. They need to open doors, and all of you in here can do it. Um, there are two of the over 2,000 students that we have part of Digital Nest. We're in Watsonville and Salinas. Um, if you want to come check us out, uh, what we're doing, uh, come on down, digitalnest.org. My uh, email is jacob at digitalnest.org. Um, about half the people up here know digitalnest.org, um, know Digital Nest really well and have been supporters of it. Um, Sarah, Guy, David. Um, so uh, thank you all, and thank you, Guy, for giving me the stage. I wasn't prepared for that, but um, I'll give you a positioning statement for those of you 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 really want to know what he does. So digital mess. Don't we get this on camera? You got it, camera. Yeah. Digital mess builds. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Digital mess builds bridges, not walls. Yeah. Thank you, Guy and Jacob. What a way to end the. Event. How do you know that was going to happen?